swear this is probably the biggest Halloween decor haul you are ever going to watch. I'm like a pumpkin made out of bones. Is that not so cool? Brace yourselves. I picked up so much Halloween decor from Target. So this one's me and then we also have Brian. Ooh, he goes. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me content, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. And today is finally my biggest ever Halloween decor haul. I swear this is probably the biggest Halloween decor haul you are ever going to watch and the biggest decor haul I will ever make on my channel. I wanna preface all of this by saying I had no Halloween decor to start out with, so I had to buy everything for inside and outside and I'm sure as the years go on, I'll accumulate more items, but I had never decorated for Halloween. I always went straight from fall into Christmas and Brian convinced me that we needed to decorate for Halloween because our neighborhood loves Halloween and we don't wanna miss out on the fun. So we have tons of stuff for inside and outside. We have so many items from Walmart, tons of stuff from the Target Halloween collection, Kirkland's, Joann's, just home goods, just so much. Halloween decor and I'm so excited to share it with you. If you're excited to see everything, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for my Halloween decorate with me. It's gonna go live tomorrow here at 10 a.m. I'm so excited to share it with you. There's tons of fun DIY Halloween decor that I'm gonna be saving and not showing those items in here so that I can show you how to make those really easy DIYs and I think that you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Hope that you guys are excited, but I have seriously so many items to get through i'm like looking at like the piles i've made from each store and we need to go ahead and get into it so without further ado this is my 2022 halloween decor haul so the first store we're gonna start with is Joann's. I have everything right next to me. Target is definitely where I bought the most stuff. So I think I'm just gonna show like all the other stores first and then show you everything i picked up from the Target collection I just wanna say Joann's crushed it this year. I feel like they had so many good collections and I was surprised how many things I actually ended up picking up from Joann's once I started like unbagging everything because I've been buying this for the last like six or seven weeks, just like a little bit at a time just to lessen the blow a little bit. So I wanna show you everything I picked up from Joann's. Everything will be linked down below. I will link everything by store, just like I'm showing it and in the order that I show it in the video to make it super easy for you to shop. But the first item I picked up was this little skeleton guy. So he is like covered in some spiders and I just loved how he looks a little bit weathered and he's kind of in like a yoga pose. And if you didn't know this about Brian, he loves yoga and we'll do yoga together sometimes so I just thought he would get a huge kick out of this this was $24.99 it's like a really nice like hard resin um, but everything I got at Joann's was either 40 or 50% off so $24.99 and then 40% off next I picked up this bag of skull vase filler just wanted to grab like as many of these little bags as I saw I got another bag from another store but this one had bigger skulls this one has black skulls white skulls and then some of them have like this green moss on them. You do get six pieces in here. This was, how much did I pay for this? This was $24.99, did not know it was that expensive. Again, like I said, I probably paid closer to like 12 or 13 for that, which I still think is a little bit too much, but clearly I wasn't paying attention to the price when I picked that up. I love Joann's towels. The ones that I used in my fall decorate with me video, if you missed that, I'll link it down below, were from Joann's and I got these ones from there. So they're just like covered in little bats, but they're like a really, really nice waffle material, which is probably my favorite material for towels. These are just gonna go right on the front of the oven, be more decorative than anything, but I just picked up two of the exact same one. These were $12.99 a piece, but 40% off. The next thing I picked up that I will be using probably in my Halloween Decorate With Me video tomorrow is this floral arrangement. I was trying to find more like black florals, but they didn't really have that many at Joann's that were not very like, I'm not doing like too colorful of Halloween in our house. I'm really sticking with like black and white and brown. So I wanted to pick these up. Just this little bouquet of flowers. Um, these are part of the Blooms and Fall collection. They were $7.99 and then I think all the flowers were 50% off. Joann's and the at home store are definitely my favorite places. Michael's is really good too. I picked up some stuff from Michael's, but definitely my favorite places to buy stems. The next thing I got from Joann's for my Halloween decor was my Halloween wreath. This was 
probably more of like a splurge item. I just thought it had so much beautiful detail. Like if you look really closely, it has like the spiders in here, the pumpkins, there's just like little spiders everywhere. I loved the black greenery with the orange pumpkins and then this spider web in the middle. It's just so beautiful. I thought this was like the perfect mix of cute and spooky and I just thought it would go perfect outside. So I picked this up for our front door. This was $70, but then I do believe it was 50% off. So 35, which brings it down to what you'd pay like pretty much at any store. Like it's the same as what you'd pay at Target, which is not too bad, but I just loved it so much. I'm really hoping it will hold up well and that we can get it like to work for us next year as well. The next item I picked up was our doormat. I struggled to find a Halloween doormat this year. I feel like the selections like weren't that great like at Target. I should have bought one at the at-home store. I shopped there like probably two months ago and I like wasn't ready to commit to one, but definitely next year I'll be buying it at the at-home store because they had the most incredible selection. I know that I got my Christmas doormat from there last year, but I picked up this one from Joann's. As you will see, we have quite a few skeleton items going outside as you will see as the haul goes on. So I picked up this one. I thought it was super cute. I didn't want to get one that said like happy Halloween or trick or treat because we have other items that are going to say that. Plus we'll be sitting outside for Halloween night like handing out candy. So just decided to go with this fun skeleton one. I thought it would look really nice um, with some of the other items that I have picked out that I haven't showed you yet. And then the last item I have from Joann's, it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you, but I picked up this porch sign that says home sweet haunted home and I just absolutely love this. I love how it's like in the shape of a house and I thought it would just look really cute like next to our front door and I liked the colors. I'm trying to do like a little bit of color outside. Um, we'll have definitely more oranges and stuff out there because we won't be doing too much of that inside. So thought this was super fun and went well with a lot of the other things I picked up for outside. This was $50 and then I think when I bought this it was 50% off so I ended up getting it for $25 which is a pretty good deal. But if you're looking for a porch sign and you don't really like this one, the at-home store had a ton of really good ones. So next year I'll definitely be prioritizing shopping there. I just wasn't able to make the trip back out when I was like starting to shop for all my stuff because it's not super close to my house but definitely if you haven't bought Halloween stuff or you're like looking to start collecting Halloween items and decorating for Halloween go to the at-home store so that was everything I picked up from Joann's for Halloween. Next, we're going to be chatting about the items I picked up from the Walmart Halloween decor collection. First up, I did pick up a pack of tombstones. We wanted to do like a little graveyard out front and I wanted to get like mostly cheap ones because these definitely are not going to hold up for more than a year. With the Florida like heat and sunshine that we have all through like Halloween season, I just feel like these are going to end up getting like battered by like the rain and the sun. So I just wanted to pick up ones that were pretty cheap. So I did pick up this six pack from Walmart. You do get six different gravestones in here, all different sizes. I picked up some from another store as well, but I didn't feel like we had enough. So I picked up these ones at Walmart. Super excited about them. Some of them glow in the dark, which is really fun. And I can't wait to build our little graveyard. File that under words I never thought I would be saying. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the outdoor stuff before I show you the stuff I got for indoors from Walmart. They had such a great Halloween decor collection this year. We did pick up a couple of these Whirl Emotion plus static, like two in one projection things. Our house has like some blank sides, like where these things would be so perfect. So the first one we picked up is this one that says Happy Halloween. And then it has like some skeletons and ghosts. And this can either like whirl around or just stay like static in whatever spot you decide to put it. So this was the first one I picked up. This one was $20.98 and hopefully those should last for more than just one Halloween season. Then Brian and I, I had to just let him win on this one because like I said, I'm letting him take the lead on the Halloween decor. So for our garage door, I think we're going to put this Jack Skellington one. Honestly, it will fit so perfectly on our garage door. This one was also $20.98. I think it'll look really, really cool on the garage. And we live so close to Disney that it makes sense to have like a Disney item. And I feel like the neighbors will love it as well. And then for, I think the front, but we're going to play around with it a little bit once we start decorating and then like testing them out tonight. Um, I did pick up another one of the projection shadow lights. So this one 
is really cool. This one has like ghosts, a spooky tree, jack-o-lantern, witch, like just everything. Um, and I think we're just gonna project it over the front of the house or if the one on the side that we got doesn't like cover enough space, we can do both of them. And I think they will look so cool next to each other. And that one was $14.98. So we did pick up three of those. I wasn't expecting to pick up three of those, but like, so it's, this is how it is. I don't know if it's how this is if you guys go shopping like with your spouse. Like, it's hard to get him to the store, but then once we're in the store, he's, like, putting everything in the cart, and it's, like, hard to control, like, what we're buying. Is it like that for you? Definitely let me know <laughs> down below. The next item we picked up is one of the items I am the most excited about, and it is this, like, big ceramic ghost, um, and you can just put, like, a candle on the inside. They have, like, the opening in the back. I just love this. I saw this almost exact same thing at Home Goods, and it was, like, over $30, and at Walmart, it was 20 bucks. I know I saw a lot of people asking for the link for this, so I will try to link this down below. It's so hard to link Walmart stuff. I don't know why it's so much more difficult than linking from any other store, but I will do my best to find the link for this. I just feel like it has so many cute details, and these like pumpkin type items literally last forever in all of the Florida elements. So if they can last here, they can literally survive anywhere, but I will try to link this for you down below. We picked up two like skeleton themed items. The first one is this skeleton spider. I think we're gonna end up using this outside, but it could end up inside as well. Kind of looks a little bit weathered. It's just made out of like a hard plastic. This was $10.98. And then I loved this. I did not see this when I did my Walmart Halloween video. Look at this, it's like a, skeleton pumpkin like a pumpkin made out of bones is that not so cool this was 5.98 when i saw this i'm like that's going in the cart and it looks like it might even be glow in the dark which would be even cooler i did pick up a little box of halloween lights i want to put these on the wreath because the wreath doesn't light up and i want it to so we did pick up just a pack of little halloween lights for 50 lights it was 388 i could not find any battery operated lights so let me know where you can get battery operated lights this was something i struggled with at christmas time too a lot of them just require to be plugged in. So if you have like a favorite place that you love to buy lights, definitely let me know down below. And then just a few small things I picked up for inside. I did pick up this like bleeding eye skeleton candle. I saw these at other stores and they were way more expensive. And at Walmart, they were $5.98. So I picked up one of these. And then next I did pick up this other candle. It's so cool. It's almost like a spine. I don't know if it's gonna be like hard for you guys to kind of see it through the packaging but it's like all like bones right here and that's also a candle so I thought that would be fun I decorated with candles a lot for fall like taper candles and stuff so I wanted to pick up some Halloween themed ones that I could kind of swap them out for to make it more fun and spooky for the fall and then I found this little ghost I just thought this was like the most adorable thing ever it has an opening on the back so you can put like a little tea light but I just feel like it will look so cute just like tucked in a corner just add a little spooky ghost that is everything I picked up from Walmart next I did just get a few items from Michaels that I want to share with you mostly like floral arrangement type items I was super excited to see that they had a lot of black florals Michaels also crushed it this year I'll definitely be doing a full Michaels Halloween shopping video next year but I picked up this little bundle it's a great size this was I think $12.99 but I'm pretty sure this was 50% off so like $6.50 which is great there's a ton here especially once you start like fluffing it all out and it's just black leaves with these tiny little black berries and I'm just gonna kind of integrate that into some of the floral arrangements that I made for the fall then I got this little stem of two black roses and then I found this one that I also really liked which is um, it's kind of hard to describe but kind of like little black billy balls with some leaves and this one was $9.99 and 50% off so super good deals there on some black floral arrangements this is like I mean we're getting spooky over here and then the last thing I picked up from Michaels was just this little gold skull head it's like a gold brush painted the jaw does move which I thought was super funny this was $2.99 but it was 50% off so I got it for $1.50 and I know exactly where I'm gonna put it and you're gonna have to wait to find out that is everything I picked up from Michaels and I think the last store is Target but 
brace yourselves. I picked up so much Halloween decor from Target. I literally think I bought the whole collection. Let me show you what I got. Okay, I dragged a bunch over, but there's still so much over there. There's just so much Target stuff. So I'm just gonna start grabbing everything. We're gonna start with pillows. I got so many Halloween pillows. First one I picked up was this one from the Threshold Collection. This was, I believe, $20. It just has a skull, and then it kind of has this like florally type design. Brian picked this one out, so. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The next one is this like nice beigey colored pillow that just says boo. This is all embroidered, super nice quality, and then it has these little like black and brown tassels in each corner. So this is just a little lumbar pillow. The pillows that I have behind me are actually pillows that like go downstairs on our couch. So I wanted to get stuff that I felt like would go well with what we already had so we will see if my vision of the couch ends up coming together the next one similar to that one is just covered in all bats it's like a really nice like brownish linen color it has a bunch of bats on it and then the little tassels down in the corner those two pillows i just showed were both 15 dollars, and then for 10 dollars, i picked up one of these little like osty ghosty sherpa pillows i just think this is the cutest pillow ever there's like a 75 percent chance that this will turn into a dog toy for my pit bull and if that happens it's okay this was 10 dollars. it looks a lot like something that would be his toy normally they do not go after our pillows at all but i just I don't know, I have a feeling about this one. Next up is a table runner. It's more like a table centerpiece. This isn't very long, it's only 48 inches, but it is like a cobweb, and I just thought this was so cool. I think it'll look so awesome on our breakfast nook table. We just did like a whole kitchen and DIY breakfast nook transformation, if you missed it, and I think this is gonna look so awesome on that table. So I picked that up. It's a really nice like pleather material. Then I did pick up the coffin shaped cutting board or like charcuterie serve board. I just love this. Honestly, this was overpriced. I'm pretty sure this was like 25 or $30, but I did look on Amazon and I looked around at other stores and just like didn't find one that was the same. Like a lot of them had writing on them and I just liked how simple this was and like it's black and wooden and I just really liked it. So I decided to go for it. I always do the buy now, decide later method. Buy things when you see them because you'll never see them again if you don't. That is like the motto around here. But I did buy it and then I shopped around quite a bit, didn't find anything else I liked, so I decided to keep it and I'm excited about it. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. A couple little like random miscellaneous items that Brian really wanted were these two plates. So we did pick up a skull one that matches that pillow and this one that has either a crow or a raven on it. He was like, we can put our soaps on it from the sink. I don't know, you guys will see where Brian decides to put these. He will be participating a ton in the Halloween Decorate with me tomorrow, so if you love Brian, you will love that video. These were $3 a piece, and they came in several different patterns, so if you don't like these two, they do have a couple other ones. I feel like they would make like a really good ring dish next to your sink for like your jewelry, or you can put your soap dispenser on it. You could use them as just like little decor pieces on a backsplash. So many things you can do with them. For $10, we picked up this like moon, crescent moon shaped candle. It is midnight moon scented. It says it is smoky pine forest with lingering shadows of juniper, teakwood, and haunting hints of tobacco and spice. It smells pretty good. It smells like, like a boyish spooky scent. And this was, like I said, 10 bucks. Next up, I picked up this floral arrangement. It just has the black leaves with the amber vase. And I don't know if you want to call it pregnancy brain or I just loved it so much that I actually accidentally bought it twice <laughs> on two totally different shopping trips, probably a month apart. Like I saw this a couple days ago and I'm like, oh, I really love that. I'm just going to pick it up. There's so many places I could use it. And then I got home and I was like, Oh, I already have it, but I know I'm definitely gonna be able to find places to use it. I really like it. The amber glass um, on the bottom is like a really dark amber and I think it's super pretty and I love the leaves So I know that I will definitely find places to stick both of these these were $15 each from threshold I feel like they are so worth it like all the work is already done for you You have a little vase this is like a really good size it's like a medium-sized plant with like a small vase And I just feel like you know It takes up a good amount of space and it'll be really easy to switch out with other floral arrangements to make it ready for Halloween. Also from Threshold, I picked up one of these like bird claw candle holders. I only decided to get one cause like the base just takes up so much room that I figured I would just stack it with other decor instead of getting like the two different heights. This one was $10 and I just like, like the metal. It's like made out of metal and it's like a little bit weathered. There's lots of details 
um, on like the talons and everything and I just really liked it so I decided to pick up one of those and then I did also pick up one of the black threshold candles I got the small sized one so this was five dollars and there's also like a medium sized and a large size all the pumpkins came in three different sizes I just picked up the small one just the little black pumpkin next are the items I picked up from the Target dollar spot and then we're gonna get into all the hide and eat items that I bought which is like the Halloween collection at Target so I did pick up this pillow probably for outside um, we do have like a little be sure set out there and I just thought this was so adorable and it's like a really nice durable material for outside they always have so many good pillows for indoors and outdoors in the dollar spot if you saw earlier this week I did the dollars um, target dollar spot Christmas collection yeah Christmas and Halloween we're like very confused on this channel right now or in that transition period but I picked up this one for Halloween they always have so many good options I definitely recommend checking there if you're looking for cheap pillows for outside I grabbed this and then I also grabbed this pack of paper hats hoping to hang these from outside but it rains a ton so not sure like how well this is going to go over but I just got this little pack of six hats and it was only a dollar so super good deal there also for super cheap for a dollar I picked up so many bags of this spider web originally I bought a bunch of bags from the hide and eat collection they were four dollars a piece the moment I found a bunch of these I returned all of those and got like 15 bags of this for a fraction of the price so even if this doesn't go as far I just like bought a few extra and it was still way cheaper than spending four dollars a bag they also had a black version and glow in the dark so if you're looking for a really affordable spider web I would check the Target dollar spot. We have so many bushes on the front, side, back of our house, so we're just gonna basically be putting the spider web everywhere. The landscapers are gonna hate it. Another item I picked up from the Target dollar spot Halloween collection is this jack-o'-lantern. It actually lights up. I thought that this was super, super nice for $5 in the dollar spot. Let me see if I can turn it on. Is it working? Oh. Wait, maybe it's actually broken. Please hold. Okay, never mind. I got it to work. So there's just like a little light in there. I feel like it will light up even better when it's like obviously dark outside. But I just felt like that was super nice quality for the Target dollar spot. So I had to pick that up for $5. And then the last thing I picked up from the Target dollar spot was this potion bottle. It just has a skull and crossbone right on the front. I just thought that this was so cool. I love like the ball on the top. It's all completely glass. I might do like water with food coloring on the inside to make it like extra spooky. I'm not sure. I might just like leave it clear. Um, but I think we might end up using this outside. Not 100% sure yet. There was one that I loved from Joann's that was like not really the same as this but kind of similar ish this was five dollars the one at Joann's was 50 so I decided to go with this one and I'm really excited about it the Target dollar spot Halloween collection was really really good this year which makes me excited for future years because I feel like every year it just gets better and better I missed an item before we get into the hide and eek items I grabbed this little rug it was on clearance for $13 it was originally 20 um, I'm pretty sure it's still on sale and you can get it at your Target um, I just got this to go under the doormat. I just like love the look of layering mats and this one was so affordable. It also feels extremely durable. So I'm hoping that at the end of the season, I'll be able to hose it off and potentially use it again next year. This is from Threshold. Getting into all of the items I picked up from the Hide and Eat collection. First off, I did pick up three bags of this ceiling tapestry. It's a, almost 10 feet in length, but my outside front porch is like way bigger than I realized and I figured it's better to have more than not enough. So it's just this like spooky, like drapey fabric. I wanted to like really go all out on the front porch. These were $10 each. Like I said, I picked up three of them. This item is actually from Joann's, but it got mixed up with these bags. It's along the same lines. It is a like creepy fabric. This was $12.99, but 50% off. Um, this is just kind of like a black netting material. I'm going to use it for something else outside, but this is actually from Joann's, but you could find stuff just like this at Target. I just bought it at Joann's before they put out the stuff at Target, but yeah, this is another item that I picked up and this is going to be used I th maybe outside. I say that, but then once I start decorating, sometimes I change my mind. Next up from the Hide and Eat collection, I did pick up a set of the skeleton yard stakes. Because we are doing the like graveyard, I thought it'd be fun to have these kind of sticking out. So I got the feet and I got the hand set. These were $10 each, so $20 for the set. And this is what it is supposed to look like, like when it is all set up. I just thought it was super cute and I love like the details on here. I'm hoping that this will hold up for more than one season. 
um, but these were $20. And if you didn't like the skeletons, they have like witch ones, zombie ones, and I feel like that's super cute and it's pretty affordable as well. From the Hide and Eat collection, I picked up this bag of skeletons. Again, it's almost like vase filler. This was $3, it's definitely way more affordable than the ones I picked up at Joann's. These ones are much smaller. So there's 12 little like mini skeletons in here for three bucks and I'll be using that as a little vase filler. Moving into the bigger items from Hide and Eat that are pretty much all gonna go outside. I got some more tombstones. They had these four packs for 10 bucks. You get four different tombstones in here. I like how these ones as well, some of them have elements that light up. I feel like it's just gonna look so cool like during the day and at night when these items will glow in the dark. So I got the four small tombstones for 10 bucks and then I got one really big tombstone. This one um, also glows in the dark and it may even light up. I think it has like a little try me button on the top. But yeah, this is like a really, really big tombstone. I wanted to have a good mix of small, medium, and a large tombstone. We're not wanting to do like the biggest graveyard you've ever seen, just like a healthy sized graveyard. So I picked up that big one. I think that one was $20. Next up, we did pick up several different like skeleton items. These were so funny to like ride around in my cart, but I did pick up this like big skeleton doll. Dog. We have three dogs. We are huge dog lovers and we wanted to incorporate them into our decorating I wish I could like show you guys my bigger dog Wyatt. He is Obsessed with this skeleton like he's always just so confused by it It's like a very similar size to him and he's like what the heck is that thing? So I picked up this dog skeleton. This was $30 I have heard from several people that the target skeletons and like skeletons from any store like these like plastic hard resin ones last a really, really long time. So I feel like it was a good purchase and I can't wait to see it outside on the front porch. To go with our dog skeleton, I picked up two of these glow-in-the-dark skeletons. So this one's me and then we also have Brian, but they're exactly the same, but I did get the glow-in-the-dark ones. These are so fun. These were $40 a piece. And like I said, I was hesitant to spend that money, but I asked several people that I know that decorate for Halloween and they were like, no, they seriously last forever. So hopefully we get many, many years of use out of the skeleton versions of Brian and I. I think we need to go pick up a skeleton baby, but I don't know, I felt weird about that. So we have two skeleton people and a skeleton dog. These were $40 each and the skeleton dog, like I said, was 30. We're getting down to the last few items. The next item I picked up was this cauldron planter. I ended up buying this online. I found one in the stores and it was dented. So I just waited for it to come back in stock online. It's just a planter inside. It does have drainage. So we're just gonna stick one of our plants that we already have inside this and you know, just kind of give it a more festive look. It has some bats in here. I just thought it would look so cute outside. Also to go on our front porch, um, probably for just a few days leading up to Halloween, I don't know if I'll put it out right now because I'm afraid it would blow away. It's not very heavy, is a teal pumpkin. Um, I talked about this in my Target Halloween like hide and eat videos, but a teal pumpkin is just to signify that you have treats for kids that have food allergies. So I picked up a lot of like non-food treats that we will be able to give out to any kids that can't have the food treats that we picked out. The teal pumpkin was $10 and then I believe the planter was $20, which I feel like is so worth it. Like it's heavy, it's metal, it's adorable. I'm super excited about this. They also have a jack-o'-lantern version if you're interested in that. If you're like not into the cauldron, they have this but jack-o'-lantern also. So cute. And then the last item I picked up from Target, one that I'm most excited about is this big light up like stop sign. So it says trick or treaters stop here. And then actually if you turn it around, it says out of candy, boo. So it just like lets people know like, hey, we're out of candy or like you definitely need to stop here and trick or treat. And I just loved how, like I loved it when I knew that it said like trick or treaters stop here, but I put it in my cart immediately when I looked at it on the Target app and saw that once you flip it around, you get like two signs for the price of one and I just thought it was so fun. I feel like for Christmas I'm probably also going to buy like the Santa stop here one. I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas now that we have a baby on the way. It just makes everything so much more fun and just so much more exciting. So had to pick this up. I love that it's two for one for $40. I feel like that's such a good deal and I cannot wait to get it all set up. Whew. 
so that is everything I picked up from Target, from the Target Halloween decor collection. That is all the stuff that I grabbed. It is so many Halloween items. And then the very last item I want to share with you is from Home Goods. It's just this pumpkin stack. I'm going to put a picture of it here. Um, sadly, it did just sustain some injuries. I was trying to get it down and like bring it up here, but it was like up really high and ended up going over my head. I really wish we had cameras in our garage so that you could see that footage or that I could relive it. But yeah, sadly it did sustain some injuries. It fell from like over five feet up and it just has like a little bit of like some messed up stuff on the back, which is good. It landed backside down, but this is what it looks like. I took it after the fall. So as you can see, it still looks really great. Um, this was from Home Goods. I bought it like several months ago. I think it was the first piece of Halloween decor I picked up. I just love those like really hard resin y ceramic ish. I don't know what the material is, but it's durable as heck because it fell from really high up and still looks great. So pick this up from Home Goods. This was $70. And there you have it. There's everything I picked up for my 2022 Halloween decor. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I know that it is a lot of stuff. It is not a normal amount of items to purchase in one year, but I went from no Halloween decor to wanting to decorate inside and outside. So that just required me purchasing a lot of items. Definitely my big recommendation if you have to do the same is just to kind of like spread out the purchases, buy things a little bit at a time. It lessens the blow a little bit, but that is everything that I picked up. Please let me know down below was your favorite items that I picked up. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are. And if you're excited for the Halloween, decorate with me. Come back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Be sure you gave this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified when the video goes live. You are not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending your free time with me. I love you all so much. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. See you next time. Bye guys.